Welcome back, Code Websters. So in our last video, we developed a basic vanilla neural network to check if an image is a dog or a cat. In this video, we will enhance our network using something called convolutional neural networks and a bit of data augmentation. Now, if you haven't watched our last video, you're in luck. Click this pop-up right now to watch our 20-minute short, in quotes, 20-minute video. Now, if you're too lazy to watch that, you can always just download the file, which is in the description. For the rest of you Code Websters, let's jump right into it. For our new system's data preparation, we'll repeat the same steps as in our last video. However, we're going to remove our RGB to gray block. Let's come on down here. I've already removed it, but around here, you should see an RGB to gray block. Just remove all that or just don't run it. Uh, next, you're going to go ahead and simply execute this and it should give you about 23,262 labels and images. Uh, each image obviously is 64 by 64 by 3 and that corresponds to the pixels and its respective colors. Next, we actually want to create our model. So, our model will consist of 2D convolutional layers followed by a leaky ReLU activation layer and finally a max pooling layer. If you wish to understand the exact mechanism in which they function, you're probably a nerd. Anyway, I've added links in the description. Uh, so after the convolutionary 2D layers, uh, we'll flatten the output and flattening basically changes it to a one dimensional long array. So if you have something like 64 by 64 by three, it transforms that into a 64 times 64 times three long array, okay? Uh, that will then allow us to incorporate a series of dense layers ending in our one node final output layer. And so this last dense layer obviously will output our binary value, zero or one as needed. Obviously zero is for a cat and one is for a dog as we replied in our last video. Welcome back. So we're going to just leave the rest of our code the same, right? The fitting and the actual optimizers and the loss. We're just going to keep all that the same. And what you next want to do is go ahead and actually run this. Okay, guys. So unfortunately, we have made an error. So this is just supposed to be layers dot dropout. And good thing I, have, I ran this again. Uh, we have another area. Oh, okay. So you want to change this to be train X. And you want to change this to be train X. Okay. Now that that's running, I'll just let that run and then come right back to the visual portion. Okay, welcome back guys. So I ran it, it took about, I'd say about five to six minutes um, on my high RAM GPU setup. It will take a lot longer if you don't have a GPU and it'll take a bit longer if you don't have high RAM enabled. Okay, so next let's go down to the visual portion. Wow, so as you can see, we've got 88% peak accuracy. Uh, you can still see the overfitting, unfortunately, right over there, it kind of overfits, but um, essentially this is peaked at 88%. If you look closely, uh, it, it's sticking around that. If you took the median, it probably, over the long time, it would, it would go towards, um, I'd say about 86%. But if we just print out the, the uh, last three values, let's go ahead and do that. That should um, that should tell us. I think 80, 87 there. And this is like towards the end. 94, you should get around the same. Um, not off by a bit. Yeah, you got 86, 87, so it's getting better. In fact, I ran this for 200 epochs and I got it to be just at 90% or like just off 90%. So yeah, it can go a lot better. Okay, so just for fun, let's test our actual system. Um, we're going to just write this bunch of code and I'll explain after I write it. All 
All right, so let me explain the actual code. So first of all, we import something called image from Keras, and this is just the image processing system. Uh, we load our image, um, which will be here. So let's go ahead and actually upload that. Um, go to pictures, I have cat here. So yeah, you can just drag and drop in Google Collab and press OK. Um, so yeah, so we've got the image .load image. Uh, we want to add a 64, 64 target size. Um, then we actually change it to an array. Then we change it to an NP array and also resize um, the value to uh, whatever it was, one divided by 255. And we also get the answer by going network.predict np.asarray instance. So it's just a weird way of getting the answer out. Um, obviously, if the answer is bigger than 0.5, we'll say that's probably close to a dog. If the answer is less than 0.5, we'll probably say that's a cat. So let's go ahead and try that with cat.jpg. Uh, target size is not defined. Oops. So it should be equals. Go ahead and play it. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> wow. So we got 7.9. So like I think 0. Um, 0 0.07 or something like that. Really small number. Definitely a cat. So let's go try it with a dog. Right, so I've got two dogs here, and the beauty of uh, neural networks is that they actually, actually can actually um, detect if a dog is in the image. So it doesn't just have to be a dog image. So if it's a person holding a dog as well, it'll give it a higher probability of being a dog. Let's go ahead and go. Oh, so this is called image.jpg, but you can see it's a dog. Well, two dogs, and I'd say that give me a pretty high number. Yeah, so 0.766, which is pretty high. I think it's actually having trouble noticing uh, two dogs. If I put one dog there, it'd probably uh, give near 100%. And uh, there are systems used called patch scans, which maybe in the future we'll get into that. And we'll use patch scans to actually uh, circle the different faces of the dogs, which is absolutely beautiful. But anyway, next time we'll work on reducing our overfitting. Um, so we've got overfitting here. Let's see how the red goes over the blue. Uh, we'll reduce overfitting using some data augmentation techniques. Uh, but for now, yeah, that's pretty much it. You've built a really good system. It's 88%. So that means 88% of the times it works really well. And I've tried it on maybe 10,000 normal cat dog images, and it seems to work nearly 100%. Um, uh, the errors normally associated when you have another dog in the picture or another human. But yeah, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button and tune in next time. Code Web out.